SpaceX has quietly introduced a new $140 a month Starlink priority plan that has some really interesting advantages compared to the Starlink standard or the Starlink mobile plan. We've got the intriguing details on how this applies for RVers and cruisers after this. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you an update on a new SpaceX Starlink plan that is just quietly rolled out onto their website in the last few days. This is a new tier of SpaceX's priority plan. These are normally plans that they sell to businesses that are at fixed locations. And up until now, they started at $250 a month for one terabyte of data that you can use at your business, if, assuming you had like high bandwidth needs in some places where you had no other option than SpaceX and Starlink. But this new $140 a month, instead of having a one terabyte of data, comes with just 40 gigabytes of data, which seems like a pretty substantial limit. But, well, once that 40 gigabytes of priority data is used up, it becomes just the same performance as a regular Starlink standard plan. So it drops down to a standard priority on SpaceX's network. And so, well, this costs $20 a month more than a Starlink standard. What makes this potentially worthwhile versus that? And it's also $10 less than Starlink's mobile plan, the mobile regional plan, which is $150 a month. So is there an advantage for priority over the mobile plans? And the answer is yes to both. There's actually some really significant advantages that make this a very intriguing plan for uh, not just fixed location users, but for users who are traveling by RV or boat. Comparing to Starlink Standard, Starlink Standard is their plan that is normally intended for residential users. It's $120 a month unless you're in some remote locations where there's a lot of excess capacity. It's $90 a month. And it is Starlink at a fixed location. Um, but you can change your address at will as you travel and, well, travel with it. And that's actually how we've been traveling with our Starlink quite effectively for quite a while. But for $20 more a month, you get um, 40 gigabytes of priority data, which is has a higher priority on Starlink's network and in congested areas can be substantially faster. And even in non-congested areas, you can notice a significant speed increase. We've actually seen our speeds almost double here in Frisco, Colorado, switching from standard to priority. Um, other advantages of going to priority is you have priority access to Starlink support, which some people have had weeks of waiting time in the past with regular Starlink service. So priority access to support could be a good thing. You get an option for a publicly routable IP address. So that means if you're hosting your own servers or actually if you're particularly doing online gaming and hosting servers, you no longer have that NAT issue. So you get a, basically a fully routable IP address. And well, that priority data, if you need more priority data, you have the option to turn on after that first 40 gigabyte is used up and pay just 50 cents a gigabyte for more priority data if you need it, if you run into a really congested area. That is the advantages over the Starlink standard plan, but there's actually one other very important um, advantage that if you're signing up new, there is currently no wait list to sign up for Starlink priority service. You know, right now in several parts of the country for Starlink Standard, you cannot sign up. You have to go onto a wait list or sign up for Starlink Mobile Service. You cannot get Starlink Standard because SpaceX still doesn't have enough satellite capacity. But as best we can tell, there are no places in the country, and we've tried a lot of addresses, where Starlink Priority is coming up with a wait list. So you can jump in and get service right away, whether you want the $599 Starlink Standard dish or the more expensive a Starlink high performance dish. So you've got options to jump to the headline right away. So pretty, pretty good deal compared to Starlink standard for $20 extra a month. Now, what about compared to Starlink's mobile service? This is the plan that they normally intend for RVers and cruisers. It's $150 a month and it travels with you. You, do, you can take it to basically any place on your home continent just set up your Starlink and get connected. Well, Starlink's priority service doesn't have that feature of automatically connecting when you get to a new location. You have to manually set up your address, which can be a little tricky and takes about 15 or 20 minutes of delay, but is not that big of a deal to do when you travel. But well, this new Starlink priority plan, if you're willing to put up with that hassle, is $10 less a month than Starlink's mobile service. You get 40 gigabytes of priority data, and this is actually a double advantage because Starlink's mobile plan is lower priority than standard data. So you get 
40 gigabytes of priority data that then drops down to standard speed once it's used up, whereas Starlink mobile plans get zero gigabytes of priority data. They're always at a lower priority. And for $2 a gigabyte, you can opt in as needed for priority data. So expensive priority data. Whereas on this new priority plan, if you need more than your 40 gigabytes of priority data, you can opt in for more for just 50 cents a gigabyte. So a quarter of this price for more priority data. And then you still get the same perks of priority customer support, that publicly routable IP address, and, well, you know, the uh, cheaper cost per month. Now, there is some downsides compared to the Starlink mobile plan. So the Starlink mobile plan just works wherever you go, and you don't need to change your address. And it works anywhere on your continent. So you can travel into Canada and Mexico if you've got a North America account. You cannot go into Canada or Mexico. You have to stay in your home country if you've got this priority plan. So if you're traveling inter internationally, definitely keep that in mind. You also cannot um, opt in to using this in places that are marked as ocean cells on Starlink's, you know, global map. You could cross the Gulf of Mexico with a mobile plan and pay extra for mobile priority data and get connected while underway crossing an ocean. You cannot do this with this priority plan. This is for cells that are marked as land on Starlink's map, but that includes most intercoastal waterways, basically anything in sight of land for the most part. And as best we can tell, we've been able to move this service and change the address to anywhere. There seems to be no limitations that we've been able to move this to as far as in the United States. We've even set up service and moved our address officially into the middle of Central Park in New York City. So other than the places that Starlink does not have service, you can move the Starlink priority plan to, but it's fixed location, not underway, not automatically set up at a new location. So people who do need that underway service or who do need to connect at the ocean, you'll still have to stick with the mobile plan, pay more, and have lower performance. Now, one other important consideration to keep in mind is that this priority plan is not suitable for people who want to keep connected while in motion. Now, SpaceX is rolling out speed limits on Starlink service with the mobile plan going into effect, we believe, October 1st, that will limit usage to 10 miles per hour with that mobile plan unless you pay that $2 a gigabyte for mobile priority data. But that means like, you know, cruisers who are going up and down the intercoastal who want to keep connected underway can use a mobile plan and do that if they're going below 10 miles an hour. And RVers who are going at highway speed can opt in to pay that $2 a gigabyte. That is not an option with this new priority plan. So if that is something important to you, you're going to have to stick to the mobile plan. But, you know, this plan, the priority plan that is out now, this $140 plan, is actually a really great option for RVers who are going to remote beautiful places like this and are willing to spend just a few minutes getting set up and changing your address to this location. It's not that hard to do. And as best we can tell, there seems to be no current limitations on changing your address with this plan. And even for boaters, we tried a lot of popular anchorages, no problem at all. Changing your address, just marking the dot on the map with a, um, you know, basically by GPS coordinates or dropping a dot, and you can set up service at an anchorage and still use Starlink while boating, just not necessarily underway with this priority plan. And well, better, faster service, and cheaper than the mobile plan. So this is definitely a really intriguing option. Even though it's intended for businesses with small needs and fixed locations, this is a really intriguing option for a lot of mobile users, and we consider this definitely worth a closer look. We've now shared some uh, member tips and testing. We've been playing with this plan for a couple days now. So we shared some tips and tricks around how to use this and how to move service with this in our member forum. So all our MIA members, please come join us and we will be sharing more about this plan and ways to use it. So that's the latest from Starlink. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, the mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.